We are gonna create the painted paper for the pumpkin to use to cut out and glue the pumpkin. So you are gonna have a large yellow paper today. So folder holder, make sure you open the folder, give everybody a yellow paper. Then please return the folder to my box since these papers will be wet. Um, you can turn your yellow paper horizontal, side to side. Supply manager, the next step is going to be getting your crown that matches your table off the carts. Um, give everybody one. Again, it doesn't matter if it's broken. You're gonna write your name and your teacher's code under your name. Please ask Miss Lawson if you have forgotten. The same person who has passed these out will get all of them back in the cup, back on the carts, make sure that gets back, and then everybody's going to flip it over, and we are going to be painting the yellow paper with three shades of orange just like last week with our purple um, we have a little bit different it's not technically a tint and a shade um, actually this is mixed colors we have orange mixed with a peach we have orange mixed with a white which that is a tint and then we actually have a red orange so we have a dark a medium and a light but they're just different than last week where it was a tint and a shade so just like last week we're gonna start with the darkest um, and then we're gonna work our way to the middle and then the end using our paintbrush to create marks on the paper. Again, you will not have water. You will need your paint mat, your yellow paper, because this is how we're going to be cleaning our brush again. When the supply manager brings that to the table, the table captain will get it, get all the brushes. Again, these are different types. They're still large. And we're going to start with the darkest color. Now be careful, we don't wanna scoop the paint. I noticed a lot of kids last week, I would come to the paint and all the paint was gone. Um, all you need to do is dip, which means you go down into the paint and back up. You don't need to scoop it, because when you scoop it, you get a big drippy, goopy gop, and then it just puts too much paint on the paper. And remember, paint is like a liquid. It will make your paper rip um, if you put too much. So just down up, then you're gonna take your brush, and just like we did last week, you're going to make marks. Now, I know pumpkins are not um, yellow, but some pumpkins have a yellow color in them, so we're gonna use the yellow to create that in the background. So again, I am not painting back and forth, not lifting my brush up. I am putting my brush down, picking it up, putting it down, picking it up, putting it down, picking it up. So again, make sure that you're not just going back and forth, not picking up your brush. Okay, I'm done with that. Wipe it off and you're gonna do it with the middle color. Again, dip it, make sure it doesn't. I get all the paints wiped up on my mat. Now today, we're gonna still use the end of our brush to draw with. Now again, we are not taking the end and dipping this in paint. That's not what Miss Lawson is doing. You gotta watch me. I'm using the end of the brush to draw in the paint. Last week we drew circles. This week we're going to draw lines. So using the end as like a tool, we're going to draw lines in our paper. Now, we don't wanna go up and down and back and forth. We're gonna pick one direction. And I'm just going top to bottom, top to bottom. Top to bottom. Again, we're not dipping. I'm not doing swirls again. I'm just making lines. Top. So, I'm done. Take my brush, make sure I flip it, get it in the house, make sure the hair is on top, put that on my tray. Please remember, if you're the supply manager, make sure your house is laying down on your tray because if it's standing up, it's gonna tip off. We're gonna walk this back to our counter. Everybody else, listen to Ms. Lawson. Either you're gonna be picking up the mat or you're gonna be picking up the paper. Again, you gotta be careful and use your little lobster claws on the side. You are need to make sure when you get to the drying rack, you do turn it vertical. It should always go on the drying rack top to bottom, which is vertical.